Hey guys, I hope you're doing good and welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you again. My last upload was nearly two weeks ago now and that is for a number of reasons which I'm going to explain in this video. If you haven't seen my Instagram post, we recently hit 100 subs so thank you to everybody that has subbed so far. I hit this relatively quickly over the past week or so due to a little promotion method which I have tested out and I'm making a video about it so stay tuned for that. Anyway, the main purpose of me recording today is to tell you exactly how I'm feeling with my content so far and the future of GLB Finance. As restrictions have begun to lift in the UK, I've been more eager than ever to get outside and enjoy some of the fresh air, as I'm sure everyone has. Now, I'm not using this as an excuse to cover up the poor upload schedule recently. <laughs> but it does take a little bit of mental strength to sit inside and record on days like this. The root of it comes from me and the motivation I have to producing and uploading videos to this channel. Unless you know me personally, all you see as a viewer or hopefully a subscriber is the content I put out. So it might be a bit harder to fully understand my point of view when I go over some of these points. With the progressive growth of my channel, especially recently, I'm looking to improve the content of my videos as well as the effort I put into them. Both of them come hand in hand. Whether this means some collabs with Ben, or sorting out the cursed audio issue that has haunted some of my videos, I want to start getting stuff done. To this day, 15 videos have been posted on the GLB Finance channel so far, excluding the one you're watching at the moment. And I can confidently say that they have improved over time. I hate my first video so much. I was actually thinking about deleting my first video because of the hate I have towards it, but I'm going to leave it up there for sentimental reasons. I'd like to say that I've improved on camera over time, and in terms of content, it's been roughly similar. Pretty much every video so far has fallen under the category of stock market videos or tips to managing your personal finance. And when you compare that to all of the content which could be made relating to money, that's a very small piece of the pie. I don't want to say too much because I like to keep surprises, but I have plans in the work for an upcoming series and a couple of collabs. Well, I say a couple of collabs, I've only got one name lined up and I'm sure you can all guess who that is. <coughs> Recording new content gives a real buzz in comparison to filming videos which are spin-offs of ones that you've recorded before which is why I may have started to slack off a little recently. I'm not saying I've got bored making those videos because I really do love some of them and I really enjoyed recording them. For example, my bee mining video on cryptocurrency, how to save money at work where I got dressed up in my Tesco uniform, I really did enjoy recording that one actually. What I'm trying to say is I just want to explore new routes which I could go down in terms of content. This way I can really find out what type of videos I enjoy making and it prevents me from limiting my content to just this desk from such an early stage. I guess we still have Covid restrictions at the moment so we are somewhat limited to what we can do but there are plenty of ways which you can make money from sitting in your bed just on your phone. Now, see this is where I get a little bit excited, you know what, I'm going to stand up for this. To all the lucky people which have watched to this point in the video, I'm going to give you a little insight on my new series called The Side Hustle. This is where I'm going to be trying out loads of different side hustles and my first hand noob, I guess you can call it noob, experience from doing them. For example, I'm sure everybody has heard of dropshipping. If you don't know what it is, I would suggest watching a little video about it, but it's basically when you set up your own website and you sell goods which you don't even have to touch to other people which click on your website. That was a very brief, poor explanation, but dropshipping used to be the meta and the top side hustle for people like me. Anyway, I did set up my own dropshipping page and I created a website, a brand, put pictures on there. I'd done everything for it. And this was around the start of the new year. Fun fact, I actually recorded the start of my dropshipping video before I posted my first ever YouTube video. I can't remember if I've still got the content or not, but I mean, I was planning videos months in advance. Obviously, that was going to be the intro and I'll come back to it with an update on how well the dropshipping account had done so far, but it hasn't really gone anywhere. 
Managing a dropshipping website takes quite a lot of effort and maintenance. But yeah, dropshipping is just one of the examples of the side hustles which I could cover. I've got plenty more lined up. The series is something I'm really excited to start because not only can I make videos about it and teach the people who are watching like you, it also gives me a chance to make a little bit of money and find out what is the best source of income as a little side hustle for someone who's still in their teens. The only work I've done on this so far is just mapping out the ideas and the different side hustles I could do. I still have to design a logo, do a little channel trailer and all of that design stuff. But it is something I cannot wait to get going as they can be quite big projects which I'm going to enjoy working on. If you think this is a good idea and you're quite intrigued on some of these side hustles which you can do yourself, please leave a little comment below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. It feels good to pick up the camera and start recording again. I haven't done it for over two weeks now, so I'm glad I'm getting back to my old ways. With all that being said, stay safe and go make some money. I'll see you in the next one. Fuck!